Guys, what's going on? It's been a while since I've done an attachment uh, walk around through my lot here and I've got a whole lot of stuff and sometimes, you know, you can see the pictures on the website there, but it's a whole different story if you can kind of just see it in motion, you know, with a video. So I thought I'd do that. I'd like to do that from time to time. Always go to goodworkstractors.com, you know, for front end loaders, that kind of thing. Um, John Deere Quick Attach, Skid Steer Quick Attach, Global Style Quick Attach. I can custom order other styles of Quick Attach as well if you have that, but uh, those are the common ones there. The, the JDQA, SSQA, and Global are the more common and ones that you can get setups for. But we'll go ahead and take a quick spin around the lot here. We'll go ahead and show you the uh, attachments for the front end of your tractor, for the three-point hitch, and some accessories as well. All right, so it's fun to just take a look. And some of these things as we go through here, they are not going to be for sale. They're either already sold with a tractor package. Um, you know, some used attachments. I do get used attachments in, but they're going to be kind of just from time to time, just depending on uh, what comes in with a tractor that I have, for instance. But uh, a staple that I'm always going to carry are going to be pallet forks, different configurations of pallet forks. And uh, you're going to see either, oh, typically 36, 42, and 48 inch tines. And all these tines go on and off uh, both the 900 pound frames and the uh, 2,000 pound frames. And I got a set of or a stack of frames over here that you can see. Okay, so these green frames um, right down below here are gonna be the lightweight 900 pound frames. And again, I can get them in black for the skid steer style. Right here, these are gonna be the 2,000 pound frames. They're gonna have a taller headache rack. Again, all the information on the website there too. You can get them in black. Uh, I can custom order them in orange as well, but uh, I see most folks want black if they had a skid steer quick attach. You step up and you get to something like this. This is, this is going to be a global style. You see this hook right here and then this bottom um, bar right here. It's a global style attachment. You see it normally on larger tractors. So this set right here, I think is a 52, or I'm sorry, a 4,200 pound. It's upside down, but you can see it right there. Okay, 4,200 pound set. And you can get these actually with uh, this style of a tine right here. These are 60 inch guys there. Actually, I think these are rated for 5,000 or 5,400 pound fork, something like that. Over here on my skid steer is another version. These are going to be the skid steer style, uh, skid steer quick attached version of the pallet forks as well. Okay, and these have 60 inch tines on there too. Uh, moving on, well, let's take a look at these cedars. These cedars are pretty cool. This is a 48 inch. You can see right over here, that's a 60 inch, or a, sorry, a 72 inch right there. These are going to be a pretty budget friendly um, cedar right here, okay? And so they are not probably designed for a super heavy duty commercial type of use. Um, but you'd be amazed. These are things that are a fraction of the cost of uh, most of the cedars that are out there. You do have to till before you use one of these cedars here, but um, has a whole bunch of seed drops on there. I think it's seven inch spacing, okay? You can close off slots if you want to. Um, has a little culta packer. This right here will fold down, okay? So it'll just kind of smooth things out afterwards, but it's got the roller cage there. Adjustable seed settings. Three point hitch mount, of course take a look down below okay so these seed drops right here are gonna go right down and uh, and drop it right in there all right and you do have two seed boxes let me show you this two individual stainless seed boxes okay so you can put your seed in one fertilizer and another that kind of thing too moving on do have uh, a couple sets of tires right now okay these are for a 4 series whether it's a 4R or a 4M or you know the previous generation like the 4320 you know, 47, 20, those models there. Always try to keep at least a, a few snow pushers on hand, but um, a couple of these are my own personal ones. Do you have a used 72 inch, that uh, Kubota orange one right here with a skid steer on there? Again, I can get these. These are very popular. Check out the videos that I have on my channel as well. Inverted style of snow blower right here. Okay, these are becoming more and more popular. It's a pull type, okay? So you still drive forward with it. It mounts on the three point hitch. You drive forward with it. You get hydraulic options if you want. You can get it with manual crank and all that kind of thing too. Uh, skid steer adapter on the front, John Deere on the back. I guess it's called a John Deere to skid steer quick attach adapter. So if you uh, have a John Deere tractor and you want to get a, a bunch of skid steer attachments or you have access to them already, you can get this kind of thing here. It does weigh, I don't know, maybe 80 to 100 pounds somewhere in that ballpark. So not really designed for those small, like subcompacts or even small compacts. You probably want to have at least a three series. That way you're not eating up too much loader capacity that way. Finish mowers, I don't know why these are not on my website. I gotta get them on there. 72 inch finish mowers. These things are uh, pretty sweet, I'll tell you. They're gonna be cheaper than any other finish mowers that are out there. Uh, rear discharge as well, 72 inch Tar River. Okay, here's a used Casco Cedar. I uh, had been using this one myself. I bought it new a few years ago, but I am going to upgrade you know, at some point myself. So I will be selling this one. If you're interested, let me know. Of course, everything you see here, I can ship. 
Now some things, you know, you look at brush hogs, that kind of thing over there, for instance, and they are pretty pricey to ship. So I, I, I pretty much just tell folks that I, that I won't ship those just because I don't think it's a, um, a practical way to do it. But a lot of the smaller attachments I can certainly do. Take a look here, tillers, you know, temporarily out of stock just with that pandemic going on, but they'll be back in stock before too long. Uh, this is my, my own uh, 72 inch right here. I do have a used 1025 hour snowplow blade. Not too many of those, but this one is got the bracket right there in the back, got the hydraulic angling and uh, raise and lower quick hitch there, and then the 54 inch plow blade. Okay, this box blade I believe is sold. It's getting picked up tomorrow, at least it's supposed to be. That's just a bucket for my skid steer there. 60 inch loader mount of snow plows. Okay, I've done videos on these guys. Okay, these things are built like a tank. All right, a lot beefier than those frontier ones out there. Just check out that video. You're gonna see these go right on the same way that your, your bucket would come off or forks, that kind of thing. Go right on the, um, the front of your loader arms, just like that. These are manual angle set up. You can add on a hydraulic angling kit if you want to. Uh, let's see, this right here, this mower deck, okay? 54 inch mower deck, it's for a new style 2025R, all right? This thing is almost brand spanking new, okay? I'm telling you, get it, you'll love it. If you don't have one, this is gonna be a deal for you. Uh, I do have one leftover Tar River DLT S50 tiller here. This is about, about as cheap as you can get. Um, I will uh, sell this out pretty cheap here. I've had it for a couple of years. I keep forgetting about it, about it every time I look out here. Sweepster 72 inch by Palladin. Okay, this is a manual angle. This thing came in on a, I can't remember, 2018, 2019 four series tractor. It only been used a couple of times. And in fact, one of those times was uh, when I used it at my own property. I uh, did a little bit of the thatching experiment out there. And as you can see, it's in really nice condition. You can watch that video. I did it last fall. Uh, it was the fall of 2019, so I will sell this. I am done using it. I am carrying the MK Martin. You're going to see the rear blades. Uh, let's see, I think it's in six foot, five foot, and six foot, something like that. And then also the box blades, four foot, five foot, six foot. MK Martin landscape rake right here. All right. Brush crushers. Okay. I do actually have a few of the skid steer style brush crushers. Check out the videos. If you don't have extra hydraulics on your machine, these are for you okay it's like a grapple on the front um you just got to watch the video I'll, I'll try to post a link up above so you can check it out but brush crushers these are the version for the skid steer quick attach style no extra hydraulics needed so check it out if you if you uh don't have any extra hydraulics hey take a look at that tooth bar right there okay go to heavyhitch.com heavyhitch.com you get five percent off okay five percent off with discount code gwt uh tooth bars all sorts of weight brackets and weights and all sorts of stuff on there I do have this used, well actually it's new, leftover stock I should say, uh, Frontier Landscape Rake right here. There's a model number if you want to check it out. Make me an offer on that, a good offer. But um, it's brand new, just leftover stock. Uh, somewhere out here I got a, another, um, oh, another one of these things as well. I think it's a rear blade. I'll find it somewhere. Uh, this snowblower is sold. This is going to be off a 2R series tractor right here, but just so you can see what it is. The new style 2R series uses a big 59 inch snowblower, all right? It's a bad mamma jamma. It's being sold with a beautiful uh, 2032R tractor on my website. Check it out. That's a snowblower and a plow blade. Okay, those are sold with a 1025R already. Uh, here we go. Here is a work saver landscape rake. Okay, these are going to be a little bit cheaper than the Frontier and the MK Martin. All right, so a little bit of assembly required there, but no big deal. They go together pretty easily. Okay, but there's a work saver landscape rake right there. Check out the pricing on the website. Take a look right there. There's the MK Martin box blade. I do like that charcoal gray color. I can get them in green as well, but uh, that charcoal gray does look pretty good. Wallenstein Shipper, I've done a couple videos on this. Check it out on the website and on my YouTube channel, Wallenstein BX36S. Pretty sweet shipper. I use it on my 1025, okay? The little subcompact. Handles it like a beast. Feeds it right through, durables all get out. I do have this plow set up right here with a quick hitch. Don't actually know what it fits. Got to do a little bit of digging on that. Possibly an X7 series, I don't know. Really nice shape. There's no serial number, no anything on it. So I got to do a little bit of investigation. It's just been sitting here. I just haven't had a chance to do so yet. Hey, I do have two sets. These are off of a 3R series tractor, okay? Uh, one of them actually has a set of uh, wheel weights on it too on the rears, but really good tread on both of these. As you can see, get you a little close up there. Two sets of them I can shift. I can just strap them down on a pallet like this, and away they go. 
Uh, let's see, over here, oh, hang on. Hey, take a look. Look at this trailer right here, 18 foot Big Tex, okay? 2018 model, not used too much, just kind of sat around. Owner was getting divorced, I bought a whole package from him uh, with the tractor and everything else, and of course the trailer too. So I do have a trailer for sale right now, 70 PI, there's a the model number, no spare, okay? So no spare, you'll wanna get a spare tire for it, but all the lights do work, came in. I, I should've taken a, a, um, a couple of pictures when it was hooked up, but all the lights do work on it. Uh, more brush hogs here, okay? Really, these are for more local pickup than anything else. Again, they're just tough to ship just due to their size. I mean, I can certainly do it, but it's just not a very cost-effective way, and I don't like to um, spend exorbitant amounts of money on shipping for, for my customers. So I do have randomly, randomly, I'm telling you, Frontier snow pushers, okay? Two of them. This one, that's the bottom cutting edge right there, okay? It would just rock back. You can see the quick attach right here. One is six foot. This one is six foot here, and this one is seven foot. Okay, these are <laughs> these things are huge. They're gigantic. You want to put these on a four series. Although one of these, uh, I think it was that one there, actually came in on a 2038R. I think that might have been a little big for it, but it is what it is. Hey, I do have a used bale spear right here as well. Okay, just a used bale spear for a John Deere right there. No big deal. MK Martin 60 inch tiller. All right, this is a, a really really nice tiller right here. Brand new. Let me know, I don't have it on the website. I probably need to get it on there. I just haven't done so yet. Uh, used set of, I think these are the Titan pallet forks right there. Okay, uh, 36 inch. What else we have over here? Another brush crusher. Here's that rear blade I was talking about. Yeah, that's it. This one's also new, kind of like that Frontier Landscape rake. It's new, it's just left over stock. Not on my website, but make somebody a nice one. It's, it's for sale right now. Here's a different brush crusher. This one is sold. That's a BC 4200. It's the same as like the skid steer ones. Okay, but the, the skid steer ones need this whole back plate on there because that's kind of how the skid steer quick attach system works. The John Deere just has the individual, you know, section here and then over there as well. So you save some weight that way. There's also a version with that third middle set of teeth right there, okay, called the BC 4215. So a boatload of those, great, great, great attachment. Again, no additional hydraulics required. Pretty awesome. That's just my backhoe for my 1025R. It is not for sale, sorry to say. And here is a four in one bucket by HLA. I bought this for my skid steer. This thing's bad to the bone, I'm telling you. But I uh, had it hooked up just to kind of try it out and it is, <laughs> it's sweet. I can't wait to put it to work, but uh, I can get these. I can get all sorts of skid steer attachments, guys, from Bombalite, HLA, WorkSaver, you name it, okay? I can get them, just go ahead and shoot me uh, an email with what you're looking for and I can go ahead and quote it for you. So speaking of grapples, I want to make sure I show you this one here. Again, done a video on this. This is the WorkSaver electric grapple. So again, no third function required. Comes with all the cabling you need. I haven't really routed this ideally. I just kind of got it on here just for demonstration purposes. Comes with a thumb control. Okay, I'll push this thumb control in. Look at that, opens right up. Close it back up like that. Thousand pounds of clamping force. Comes with this whole harness, everything you need. Just tie it right into your battery terminals. There's no plumbing that's required. Really, really, really cool. Love it. So since everybody always asks about all the accessories that are on the 1025R, let's go ahead and go over those really quick here. Okay. Suitcase weights. They're hanging on what's called a weight bracket. That is by heavy hitch. You can get a double weight bracket. There's one, two that this is right here, or you can get a single as well. Okay. Great way to put some uh, balanced weight on your, on your tractor. All right. Has a receiver right here that you can see as well. So you can hook up other stuff behind it. Quick hitches, okay, I sell a lot of quick hitches. You'll see those on my website too. Make hooking up uh, and disconnecting from attachments a breeze. Really like this, this ROPS rack here, okay? This is from Big Tool Rack. It just kind of Velcros on, stays right in place all the way around, then you can tie things off, you know, shovels, whatever else you want to bring with you. Anything that you want to tie off, you can get more of these cables and all that kind of stuff and just bring it along right with you. Uh, go to Big Tool Rack, okay? Big Tool Rack, you get 5% off with discount code GWT. Seat cover, of course, you can get these in the Amazon store. Uh, links below in the description to go to the Amazon store and get those. Good way to protect your tractor. And the ever popular mirror, okay? You can see they just bolt right into that hole there. Links below where you can get those on Amazon as well, but those mirrors are great. You can get a combo set two and put one over here also. And then you will see the saw hull, all right? You just clamp that right on there, right onto your, your loader arm. Bring your chainsaw along with you. Nice, easy way to store that. It would be terrible if I didn't mention lube shuttle. Okay, you get 5% off. Talk about grease innovation. You gotta rethink your greasing, guys, come on. But seriously, all this stuff right here is true. If changing out grease cartridges is a pain in the butt, you just find it annoying, or you don't like the stuff leaking all over the ground, or anything else like that, 
this is the system for you. You simply screw off the cap, you put it in there, it just self-pressurizes and you squeeze and you go. It's great. 5% off, okay? Go to Loop Shuttle, link in the description below. And of course, the ever popular dual kit, okay? If you're looking for stability, get yourself a dual kit. You get 5% off, go to Miller Tire, link in the description below. This is a new improved version, haven't even put it on yet, okay? Doubles the width so you have a little bit of space then in between here. Uh, make it for easier clean out and uh, keep anything from potentially rubbing down there too. So get yourself a dual adapter wheel kit for 26 12 12 tires, okay? That's what it's for, 5% off, discount code GWT. What else do we have hiding back here? Okay, here's the electric spreader. Did a video on this too, okay? These things are sweet. Uh, no PTO required, so if you just hate hooking up the PTO, this is an option for you, okay? Just hooks up right to the battery terminals on your tractor, okay? And then you have a control right here. It's variable width, variable speed control, so you can adjust the, uh, the pattern of it, okay? Works great, just don't use it with um, compost, because it won't work well with compost, but with granular fertilizers and seed, that kind of thing, even snow melting pellets, not salt, but snow melting pellets uh, or ice melting pellets will work great in here. Poly hopper, electric, pretty awesome. Dan, here you go. Here's a look at the big tool rack. This sucker is bad to the bone, really well designed. Put it right in your three point hitch. Bring a sprayer along with you. Put all sorts of tools all on here. Okay, you can put suitcase weights right down there, bracket, hooks up to your three point hitch, tons of tool storage. Bring everything in the field with you. Can also keep your garage nice and orderly as well. Oh, and hang on out back here. These aren't for sale, but this is to give you a visual. Okay, uh, palletforks.com. Okay, this is the ballast box I recommend. It's got some tool storage built into it. It's got a, a trap door so you can empty out the, the sand or the stone if you have it. You can also see right down there, that's a little two inch receiver too. So multi-purpose, I love that, great price. Um, I'll put a link below where you can buy these. This is good, cheap ballast weight right here. Oh, I didn't forget about you, Canopy. This sucker, I can't wait to get it installed. It's days like this, the summertime days when you wonder what the heck, this sun is just beating down. So this thing right here, Rhino Hide Canopy, okay? 5% off, uh, go to the description below, you'll see right where to order these things. This thing is tough as nails. I'm telling you, you need a canopy to be tough. You see so many canopies, at least I do out there, that are banged up, beat up. This thing goes through it all. It's called Rhino Hide for a reason. You know, Don shoots this thing, he hits it with a hammer, he drives over it, all sorts of stuff. It's just tough as nails. It's a great price too. You're not even gonna believe the price. Uh, go to the website below in the description and you can get 5% off, discount code GWT. Man, I'm telling you, if you want a shiny tractor like these guys that you see right here, you don't have to do it all the time. You know, just a couple times a year, just give it a bath, clean it off, get to know your tractor a little bit better. You gotta use these products that I'm talking about right here. So due to the pandemic, I have been using all sorts of other products. A lot of folks told me to try out the Adams polishes okay adam's wheel cleaner trying all of it the tire shine you know you got the ultra foam shampoo you got detail spray you got undercare spray you got just about everything you see and that's some chemical guys back there now i will say my standby is going to be car guys okay this is stuff i just absolutely love this liquid wax oh my goodness this stuff is amazing super easy to apply there's no pressure required just have a nice clean surface just slowly just easily uh, wipe it on let it sit for a half hour then wipe it back off it's amazing stuff this car guys plastic restore though is going to be incredible stuff it is really my go-to works amazingly well i'm telling you you won't regret that well guys hope you enjoyed it. it was a whole lot of information and i tried to speak as fast as i could so you can see as much as possible in as short amount of time as possible so go to goodworkstractors.com make sure you read through the description below okay most of these products i do sell but some of them they are available on other websites don't forget the discount code five percent off with gwt others are available in the amazon store okay so it's kind of all over the place i try to minimize those locations as much as possible but read the description that'll really help you out so make sure you check out the other videos on my youtube channel if you haven't done so yet hit that subscribe button below and until next time stay safe we'll see you soon